Already your boy Sinister, you already know. Okay. I'ma bring you an update. I completed the trip. As y'all know, the trip was 2,724 miles. I picked it up on uh where I picked it up from. Oh Lord. I forget. Uh wow. Congress, New York. Here in Henderson, I'm out here in Henderson, Nevada, and it's hot, boy. It's hot. Well, it was like 71 degrees. So, I was outside. Uh, it's, it's cooler outside the truck than it is in the truck. I got the door open, so. But anyway, I got the trip completed. Um, I'm just waiting for 7.30 for the guy to come in. Because the part of the warehouse I'm in, uh, I got to back into, is different from when you pick up. So, as you know, this trip was 2,724 miles. You had six days to get it delivered. I picked it up on May 27th. Today is June 1st. I had to do, my daily goal for the miles was 454 miles. I think one of, one of my last videos, I said something about 500 and some change. So I just got to clear that up. It's actually 454 miles for six days, which would add up to the 2,724 miles to get the trip accomplished. So trip is accomplished. Goal is accomplished. Um, last night, which was the 31st, May 31st, I did 578 miles. So I actually was over, I was over by 124 miles over the daily goal for the miles. Um, the 578, um, the 30th, I had 903 miles remaining when I shut down for the 20, for the 30th. When I shut down on May 30th, I had 903 miles remaining. Then I drove yesterday, and when I shut down, um, I finished with the 578, so that took me down to 325 miles, and now I did 325 miles, and trip is delivered. So um, I'm already on on to my next load. Uh, I already got it. Um, it's only up the block around the corner here in Henderson, going to Arizona. Um, it's like 200 and some change, so that's a one-day trip. Because I'm going to the terminal to do uh, get a B-service done on the truck. And uh, do my 34-hour reset. Get my clock back. So, it was a good trip. It was a long trip. But the goal is accomplished. So... Um, I finished out with 3,000, right here, 3,009 miles total for my eight days. Because I had a trip before this one. I didn't start recording that first trip when I came back out from home time. I should have, but I didn't. So, this is my second trip delivered on time. And... I'm just sitting around and just waiting to go in there um, to turn in my paperwork and get it delivered and stuff like that. So let's do a recap real quick. Now you got 2,724 miles. You got six days to get it delivered. When you divide that by, when you divide the 2,724 miles by six, that gets you 454 miles per day you gotta run. Now, I can run, I could run, I, I could run more than 454 miles. But depending on what time of day I started, if I started running late at night, you get tired at a particular point, you shut down. That's why my trips was like first day I ran. I did 471. Second day I did 466 miles. But uh, the third day I did 409. The fourth day I did 475. The fifth day I did 578 miles. And today I just did 325. So 
Yes, I could do 500, 500, 500 and get this trip here a day earlier. Yes, I can do that. Um, instead of using all six days, but due to the fact because I was running late, like my start time was one o'clock in the afternoon. So by the time I shut down, you know, you running through the night, you get tired. So I'm not going to push it. So, you know, now if I was running where I was getting up maybe about eight in the morning, get up at seven, running at eight, then I'll, I'll smash it out like that. But that ain't the decision that I made. So, um, even though I could have got this trip here a day earlier, it's still on time for, um, for those that be like, well, why you ain't run 600 miles? That's how you, that's how you get it. You know, like I already know how to run, you know what I mean? So that's just, I just didn't do that on this trip and I'm fine with that. I still come off with a good amount off this trip. I don't display what I make because where I'm from, you get robbed for that. You know what I mean? I'm from NYC. We don't play that. You know what I mean? So, um, don't ask. <laughs> don't ask. So, um, for the, for the, for the ones that want to be critics, don't ask. So, um, now I'm just sitting here. Like I said, I finished, I finished this week out with 3,009 miles. Um, my total 70 hour clock, I got, well, that could be for today. Let me see. Hold up. Hold up. Now, uh, I'm down to 10 hours and 13 minutes. So, um, once the clock reset, I run to Arizona. It's over, you know, reset time. I'm going to shut down, go get me, go shave. Um, see my people in Arizona. Uh, I got some, I got an important video I'm going to bring. I'm, I'm going to do while I'm at the terminal. And I ain't going to let that out the bag. So, y'all just see when I get it done. Um, I was thinking about doing another helicopter ride at the Hoover Dam, but I wanted to get this load here and get it done and stuff like that and finish the day out, you know. I'm going to grab this other load from up the street. Uh, it should be preloaded. And uh, let me take y'all outside because I know one of my one of my people said, yo, Sid, give us some scenery. So uh, the sun going down, so this might be in your face. So um, as you can see, the sun is going down. There's some mountains in the background. Houses on the hill. That's how the place looks. It's nice out here in Vegas. Got to do another Vegas, uh, fabulous, the fabulous side of trucking video. So, um, I'm actually working on polishing. That's how my rim looking. So, I ain't finished it yet. Just playing around with this new polish. And, um, Seeing how that is. <laughs>